Sunset Ridge by Nicole Alexander. This was actually a really good read. Uh, it's set in two different time for, um, time periods, and um, yeah, it was just it was really really interesting. The story of the the three brothers and um, how that interplayed with a whole bunch of other people, um, and uh, the the relative trying to untangle. Um, a lot of inaccurate information, basically. Um, but it was actually a really, really interesting read. I really enjoyed this one. So this one I would recommend. So the ones I have not finished or even started. Um, I haven't started The Long War by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. I haven't started The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. I have read a little bit more of The Unseen Academicals. Really, really struggling with this one. It's not normal for me to struggle with a Terry Pratchett one. I just really am having trouble getting into this particular one. Um, clearly, I'm not in the right frame of mind for that particular story. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just not my favourite. <laughs> so, um, I used my random generator app on my phone um, to pick my next four numbers. My random generator app allows me to remove numbers if I need to um, and because I had picked both of the colours previously for Pocahontas and Belle I took those two numbers out so they wouldn't be drawn again. 
because I didn't want to do the same colours twice. Um, so the four colours, uh, the ones that I picked, I picked number 10, which is Milan. Um, previously I had used the blue, so I had to pick the green. And for that one I picked another Terry Pratchett, <laughs> that makes three in this project. Um, this one is Raising Steam which I have had for ages and just not got around to reading. This one is book number 40, uh, Unseen Academicals. Does not tell me what number it is. That's interesting. Um, they usually have a listy thing in here. So, Unseen Academicals is a couple of books before this one, but that's fine. Um, Terry Pratchett always said you don't actually have to read them in order, it's usually fine. Um, some, you, he explains a lot of stuff in every single book, so you could pick it up in book 40 and a lot of stuff is explained as you go along, so you don't really miss out on too much. They'll just be characters that you they won't be as developed for you. You won't have you won't know as much about them. That's that's the only main reason. The next number I picked was number eight, which is Merida. Um, and the choices were dark green and teal. Um so I decided to go with teal and I picked uh Liebird Lake by Fiona MacArthur. Um, this actually has like four little stories in it. It's basically, this is a Mills and Burns book. Uh, all the stories are written by the uh, same person, but they are four different stories that are all set in the same place. So um, that'll pretty much make it a little bit easier to read because I can do them one at a time, but I picked it because her uh, um, outfit is teal, and they're all kind of medically related, kind of like medical um, romances. I can remember reading a lot of the old medical romances, because my mum used to have like Mills and Boons books, and because I think she was a nurse, she quite liked the medical ones. So. Uh, the next number I picked is 14, which is Tiana. Um, I had already picked pale green, so I picked cream, and for that one I picked Red Dust by Flair McDonald. I've actually read one of her other books in this project already. So this again is an Australian author, Australian novel. Um, yeah, and it's sort of, it's sort of cream up here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gradually working my way through all the books that are in the cupboard next to my bed, which I've been wanting to read for a while. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm sure this will, and she writes books that are set in the outback, which are always kind of interesting to me. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And lastly, I picked number one, which is Anna, which is dark teal or magenta. And I picked this Die Morrissey, which is called the Winter Sea, because this here is kind of like dark teal through here. Um, it's a little stretch, but I couldn't really find anything else in my bookcase. There's certainly nothing magenta in my bookcase. Um, <laughs> Di Morrissey, again, Australian author, writes a lot about stuff that happens in Australia and places in Australia. Um, I've read quite a few of her novels, and they've actually been really, really good. But every now and then you get one that is just not good. Um, I have one of those that I started reading and have not been able to finish. Hopefully this one is good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is that one. So um, I guess I will see how I do over the next month. Um, I'm actually surprised I got four finished and to be honest the ones that I got finished in the previous month all were kind of like at the start of the month. I've read very little in the last couple of weeks in particular. A lot of that is just because I've been sick and um, my sleep schedule is kind of really out of whack um, and I tend to read before I go to sleep um, and that just hasn't 
really been working out, so hopefully um, I can get back into a proper rhythm and get these books read. Um, yeah, so that has been my update for the Disney Princess Project To Be Read edition. Um, I'll leave you some links down below. If you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified if you want to. Um, or there will be an icon floating around somewhere that you can click to subscribe plus a couple of other videos. If you're interested, leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.